and let's take a few breaths. So just inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Keeping your arms down by the side, maybe using the chair, the front of the chair, just take gentle side bends, tipping to one side and then the other. Inhaling as we tip over, exhaling to pull yourself back up. Inhaling, exhale up. Inhale over, exhale up. Exhale. Exhale. Last time. Last side. And come home. Good. Now just let's stretch the jaw a little bit and try and just kind of wake up the muscles of the face. So just spread the, open your mouth wide. And then make a very small mouth. And then wide, stretch the jaw. And then very small. Get those cheekbones to lift and wide. And small. And release, taking some gentle shoulder rolls, reaching up and around to the back, and then reverse direction. Good, and then coming into our little neck stretch today, taking that left hand over the ear, bringing that ear down towards the shoulder, and then take your opposite arm, bend the elbow, and then flex the wrist. Okay, so again, we're like holding a platter, and then you're going to reach that arm away from you and then pull in opposition. So the arm is reaching that way. And then you're drawing the head down towards the opposite shoulder and feel that stretch all along the top of the shoulder and the neck. Good. Bring that elbow back in and lift the head. Great. Other side. So just gently draw the head down to that shoulder. Bend the elbow, flex the palm, and reach away, and then reach in opposition. So you're trying to touch that opposite side of the wall with the fingertips. And bring that elbow in and come back home. Sit to the very front of the chair, and then hug the right knee into the chest. All right, so I'm kind of grabbing my shin wherever you can, and then sit taller, taller, taller. Yes, there we go. Hopefully you feel a nice stretch through the low back, through the glute maybe. And set the leg down. And then other side, lift. Feel that nice stretch now along this side. And release. All right, I meant to tell us to grab a ball. So if you have a ball today, grab it or grab a little bit of a, a couple pillows or just one, one nice little pillow that you can just press between the legs. So kind of turning on the abs and the glutes today. So taking an inhale and then exhale, pull the stomach in, tighten your glutes, squeeze on the ball, use your inner thighs. Inhale, release everything. Exhale, turn on those abs, tighten your seat, press the ball. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze the ball, turn the glutes on. Notice how the abs can draw in and almost up underneath the rib cage. Inhale, release. And exhale, feet are planted firmly into the floor. Inhale, release. And exhale again, tighten those glutes. Belly in. Inhale, release. And exhale, inhale, release, and exhale and hold, 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 and lower down. Good, just set the ball down and grab your band today. Taking the band underneath the feet. Adjust my camera so you can see my feet a little bit right now. And feet are just hip distance. So when you just step on the band, make sure it's nice and even. 
and you're kind of creating a little tension. So tighten up on the band. So as you sit back up, right, you've got some tension in that band. And we're gonna use this for our hundreds today, right? So we're gonna start pumping those arms and begin inhaling and then exhale, drawing the stomach in. Inhale, fill up the lungs, exhale. Inhale, and out, in through the nose, and out, in, and out, in, and out, in, and out. Two more, in, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale all the air out and release. Now taking your roll down. So right chin to chest, roll down. As you come down towards the floor, you'll lose tension in that band. Just stay here for a moment and just kind of wiggle the hips, sending the tailbone back and away from you. And then prepare to roll up. So take an inhale. As you start to lift, exhale, pull on that band to help you come up. So again, you're kind of working the arms here. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, let everything release towards the floor. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, try and use your stomach to pull those bands away from the floor. Nice, three more, inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, let everything fold in half. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pull that stomach in, lift those bands up and off, pull on them. And then again, inhale, chin to chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, scoop the stomach in and lift up. Last one, inhale. Exhale, fold, stay here a moment. And again, just kind of wiggle the hips side to side. Try and open up some space in the back. Let the head just kind of be nice and heavy here. Just kind of shake it out. And then prepare for our last roll up, taking that inhale. Exhale, pull up on that band and really stay here. I'm just gonna adjust my camera a little bit more now. Keeping the band on the feet. We're gonna just take some side bends using the band. So just adding a little bit of resistance, right? So just reach up and over to your right, pulling on that left band and then center. And then the other way, just pull on that band. Good, and rotate, pull. And rotate, pull, and pull, nice, and pull, and pull, pull, and pull, and center. Coming into a little row. So still hold tight on that band. I want us to hinge at the hip and then bend those elbows and row, pull that band. Pull, pull, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Straighten those arms and sit back up tall. Nice, here we go again. So you're gonna hinge at your hip, keeping this nice flat back. You should maybe feel a stretch here too, through that low back. And then take five rows, pull in row one, pull in row two, and three, and four, and five and sit up tall to release. Nice, and again, hinge at that hip, create that nice flat back, head stays in line with the spine. So just try to keep that head. It's just an extension of the neck. So we're not looking down. Row, one, two, we're looking out away from us to the horizon, four and five, and lift back up again. Good, two more sets. Hinge at that hip, get nice flat back and pull one, pull two, pull three, pull four, pull five, sit back up, 
last one, hinging at that hip, feet firmly planted in the floor and pull one, two, really working your back muscles, three and four and five and lift on up. Nice work. Shimmy it out, release any tension that you may have held on. And then coming into a little leg work here. So take the band now around the right foot and sitting up tall again, I've got plenty of tension. So I'm tightening up on the band, lift the leg into tabletop, push it out in front of you, bend it back in and set it down. So lift, sitting up tall as you lift, stretch into that band, drag the band back into you and set it down. So again, lift, we're getting a little bicep work here too, a little arm work, stretch, bend and set it down and lift, pulling the stomach in to help you hold the leg up and down and lift and stretch, lift and down, two more, lift, press, push that leg straight, Bend, drag the band back in and down. Last one. Reach and release. Nice, shake it out. Release the hands from holding onto that band a little bit and set it onto the left foot. So I'm right about at the ball of the foot, sitting up nice and tall, creating a little bit of tension. And here you go, you're gonna lift that leg and then push the band away. Ooh, feel that nice stretch right here. Bend and lower down. Lift. So if you stay up nice and tall and you push the band away, I feel it in my calf and down. I also feel it all through my back. Sitting up nice and tall right there. Bend and put it down. Lift. And again, my arms are getting a little bit of work. Bend and down. And lift. Push and down. Two more. Lift. Push that band away. Bend and drag it back in and down. Last rep. Lift. Push, 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 push the band away. Drag it back into you and set it down and release. Setting the band off to the side. Shake it out. Good, taking the hands behind the head today now to kind of stretch those shoulders again. I want you to pinch your shoulder blades right here. So if you were squeezing lemons behind your back, release that, draw the chin to the chest and hug the head. So we're kind of protracting and retracting. You're gonna lift the head, neck and chest. And here you go, you're gonna retract. So you're gonna draw those shoulder blades together. Like you're gonna pull them towards that center. Let them release and then draw the chin to the chest as they protract and open wide around to the front, hugging the head, feeling that neck stretch. Lift the head back up. Last rep, pinch the shoulder blades together. Good, release that, draw the chin to the chest as the elbows come around to the front, give your head a nice hug. Lift the head back up and release. Woo! Okay, coming on to a little bit of um, bird dog ab series. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna try it with a three pound weight today. I would suggest, you know, about a two, two pound might be a good place to start. And then from there you can decide if you wanna go up or down. So I'll start with the, the weight in my left hand so we can do our right leg. So first is a straight leg, right? We're gonna lift the arm and lengthen the leg and bring everything home lift. When you lift, I want you to tighten your quad and stretch your arm and bring it home. Lift and lower straight down. So if you find it's a little challenging, this is challenging enough. I'm sitting at the front of my chair. If you were to sit further back in your chair, you would have a little bit more support for the leg, but we're really working that quad here. So find where you can get that little bit of challenge. Tighten that leg and down. Three more. Lift and down. And lift and down. Last one. 
lift, sit up nice and tall, and lower down. Excellent. Switch sides. All right, here you go. So arm lifts up, leg lifts, and we tighten this quad like you're pulling the kneecap towards you and lower down. And lift. And of course, this side's easier. And down. And lift. And down. Nice, smooth, fluid mo movement. And lower. And lift. And down. Good. Three more. Lift. And down. And up. And down. Last one. And bring it down. Whew. Okay. Go back to the other side again. Now we're going to do a little opposite movement here. So we're going to lift the arm and leg. And then you're going to reach that arm, bend the knee, cross the body. Reach it back up as we lift the leg. Cross the arm, bending the knee, just coming to the outside of the knee. Good. And open up and lower the arm across the body and lift and down good two more lift and down last one lift and down and set it down nice work okay here we go arm and leg lift inhaling exhale cross inhale lift Right now it's harder on this side to do this cross pattern. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Two more. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. And down. Nice work. Set that weight down. Shake out those wrists. Coming into our little taco side bend. Hands come behind the head. Feet nice and flat to start. Take an inhale. Exhale, reaching to the right side. Elbow towards the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. So you're opening the opposite side of the rib cage. Inhale, lift. Exhale. You're imagining you're two, between two panes of glass. Exhale. So hopefully you're keeping your head right over the hips. Exhale. Inhale, lift. And we're not rounding back or forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And come through center. Coming into a rotation. So take your inhale. Turning to your right a little bit today. Exhale. Inhale, center. Not too big yet because we're going to do a few more of these. In a minute, inhale, lift, exhale. So as you turn, I want you to think that you're pushing your opposite foot into the floor. So inhale, center. As we twist to the left, our right leg pushes into the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist, opposite leg, push it into the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center and exhale home nice okay make a little diamond with the the legs and the feet so i'm trying to get my soles of the feet together just kind of give a little bit of stretch through the inner thigh here and then we're going to take the hands behind the head and now we're going to reach on a diagonal so you're going to inhale and i want you to come forward now to that same knee same side good inhale lift through center Good. Exhale. You're twisting and rotating and at the same time. Inhale, lift. Exhale. A little forward rotation. Twist. Good. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale. And inhale, lift. And exhale and come home and release okay let's grab our band again so first just lift and lower so just inhale lift the arms up and exhale come on down 
Inhale, arms up and lower. Inhale up and down. Nice. And lift. Get them way by the ears. Good. And down. So you, everyone can kind of notice, take a peek at your arms. Are you straightening them? Or sometimes there's a tendency to just kind of have this little bit of bent elbow and we think that's straight because that's all maybe we can feel like we can do. But I want us to really lengthen that arm. Push it up into the band. That's it. Good. And down. And lengthen. And down. And down. Good. Coming into a diagonal, a little modified saw today before we go into full saw. So widen the legs. And then I want us to turn, reach our arms apart, pull those arms apart as you hinge towards the floor. Good. Lift back up, come to your center. So as you turn, you're going to reach your right arm to your left foot and then left arm behind you, pulling that band apart. And come center. Good, turn and twist. So see, I'm stretching that band. And lift. And stretch that band. And lift. Nice. One more set. Stretch that band. And lift. Last time. Stretch that band. And lift. And come home. Set your band aside. Now, when we go into our saw, I want you to imagine you still have that band. So take your arms to a T. See if you can widen the feet a little bit. Inhale. Exhale, turning to your right. Now reach a little further. And again, if you had that band, you're stretching those fingertips away from one another. And come back home. Inhale. Exhale as we fold. Inhale. Come through your center. Fill up the lungs, exhale, let all the air out. Inhale, fill up the lungs. Exhale, let all the air out. And lift up and come home. Okay, coming into push-ups. So again, sitting uh, nice and tall at the front of the chair, feet flat on the floor, palms onto your knees. And then we're gonna just bend those elbows and lower down. And then to push back up, pull your stomach in, use your whole back and your whole front, right? So inhale to lower, find that little tricep work right here. Exhale, pull the stomach in, push the back up. So you should feel a little arm work as you lower, right? So kind of lower into those arms. And then again, you're using your stomach and your back to push you back up. So the more you use your stomach and back, the less your joints, the elbow joint has to work. So oftentimes I notice if I'm not really engaging all the uh, bigger muscles, my poor elbows really start to hurt and take on all that weight. And that's just a reminder, hey, I've got other muscles to help me do this. That should be working. And now. And up. All right, now we're gonna come into a little rotation here again. So I want us to take our right hand behind our head and hinge forward again, kind of coming into a, a bit of a half fold. Other hand just rests on the knee. And now I want us to open and turn to the right. Nice. Come back to center, looking down towards the horizon just ahead of you. Open to the right. Right, you're just using that rib cage again to twist. And come home. And rotate and twist. And home. Last one, rotate. Get your heart to the wall. And home. Release the hand, pull the stomach in and sit back up. All right, other side. So you're gonna hinge. Taking the left hand behind the head, right hand stays on the knee. I'm nice and parallel to the floor here. And then I'm just gonna rotate to the wall and come back home. Four more, turn, get the rib cage to move here for you. And home, and three, rotate, 
and hum. Last two. And hum. Ooh, last one. And hum. Return that hand and lift back up. Nice work. Reach those arms out to the side. Pulse them back with the palms up. Cross those arms in the middle. And pulse. Two, three. And cross. Other arm on top. And pulse. Another arm top and pulse. Two. Another arm on top and pulse. And top. Pulse. And top. And now turn, pull the arms out to a T, flip the palms to the back, and just gentle little pulses as you stretch now through the front. Through that bicep, through the chest. And down. Woo! and shake it up. Taking some nice shoulder rolls here, lift up and back, up and back. Good back work today. Good, and then a little swan. So I want us to sit kind of into the middle of the chair and today, instead of hands behind the back, I want us to push the palms firmly into the front of the chair and then come into extension, lift head, neck and chest and come back to neutral, All right? So this is just another variation of our swan. Push into that chair. It's gonna help straighten those arms. Maybe your seat tightens, and then you again, lift that upper back, all that work we just did, and come back to neutral. We're now stretching it in the opposite direction. Push, lift, 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 and return. And again, push into the chair. and release, Ooh, shake it out. All right, grabbing that band again. And now just coming to our shoulder stretch, right? So you're gonna lift the band to the ceiling. Can we bend those elbows and bring it behind the head? Great, and lift back up. Because we did all that nice work, hopefully this is fairly accessible right now. If you cannot get this band behind the head, come in front if you're still not able to kind of open the shoulder. But I feel like we did enough work, yes, to make this feasible right now. Good. Okay, now I wanna stretch the neck a little bit more. I'm even gonna fold, I think I'm gonna fold the band in half. Let's try it that way. So this way we don't have so much extra slack. So fold your band in half. And then we're just creating a little kind of hammock or sling for the back of the head. So bring it around the back of the head and then just pull gently. And then just even the next stretch here, I want you to feel like you're just pushing your head back into that band and just feel how you might get a little length through the back of the neck and release, right? So you're just setting your chin back pushing the head back into the band and release. So throughout the day, right? Especially when we're driving in our car, this is another nice spot to practice this. Like push your head back into that headrest of the car and release and push and release. And then hold it a little wider and we're gonna use this for our twist again. So take an inhale turn to the right and just keep pushing the head back into the band inhale center exhale left push the head back good inhale center exhale inhale center exhale last set inhale center exhale last time Exhale, center, and down. Set the band down. Shake out the wrists. Okay, coming into a little sit stand, right? So we're gonna just take eight reps. So options here, right? You can put your hands on the chair if you need a little bit more of assistance. You can take your hands onto your thighs or for more of a challenge, you reach your arms out in front of you. And all the weight's gonna come from the heels and the seat. So you're gonna hinge forward, stand on up tall. 
Good, sit back down with control, right? So set the seat down. Take it slow so you can feel how your glutes turn on to help lower you, the hamstrings turn on. Good, lift up, stand tall, lower back down. Lift up, stand tall, lower slowly down into the glute hamstring. Nice, and lift, and lower down. Three more, and lift, and set it down. Last two, stand up tall and lower down with control. Last one, come up and stay up. Nice, reach your arms tall to the ceiling while I adjust the camera. Okay, coming to take our band again. I know, lots of good band work today, okay. Come and step on the band. So the band's to the outside of the body and you have your foot. I really did not get this angle set today. So I'm gonna just stand to the inside of the band. I'm gonna tighten up on the band and I have it just coming right behind my shoulder. Exactly. And then we're gonna just lift that arm, stretch through the side body and lower down. Lift up and lower down. Lift up and lower down. Lift and lower. Lift. Lift. Good, lift and hold. Take a nice side bend here, kind of use the band to help pull yourself up and over. It should feel nice and come back home. Good, two more. Reach over, you're stretching the band across the body and home. Last one on this side, reach and home and lower down. All right, switch sides. So just put the band to the other side. You're stepping just to the inside of it to create that tension and then tighten up on it and have it come behind the shoulder again. And then lift, stretch that arm and lower down. And lift and lower down. So this is a nice way again to do this overhead press without having a ton of weight. Cause I noticed too, if we get too heavy with our weights in this, It's harder to get that nice shoulder activation. Reach and lower. Reach. Lower. Reach. Good. Now reach and hold and take our three side bends. Reach up and over, stretching that band and come home. Nice. Reach up and over and home. Reach and home and lower down. All right, release the band, stretch it out. Okay, taking a little standing bird dog here. So coming into a little bit of balance work here. So I want us to lift the left arm and the right leg. Good, and set it down. Other side, right arm, left leg. And down. Good, left arm, right leg. So all I'm doing is creating a small diagonal line and I'm not even extending that leg very far. It's just barely coming off the floor, tightening your butt, pulling your stomach in and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. And lift and down. Great job. Okay. We're gonna try our L stretch on the back of our chair today. So turn the chair to the side, walk back and then push the palms into the back of the chair. And then first just kind of lower the head down between those elbows. Feel that stretch now through the back and then soften your knees. And then see if you can bend the knees a little deeper and notice if you feel a little bit more stretched through those shoulders. 
All right. So now I have my hands and I have a, a, a back chair that's got two different levels. So if you do have that, try going a little lower and seeing if you can bend the knees deeper or come to the chair pad. Yep. And then just really get those shoulders to kind of draw together so you can get the head down. Good, even like stick your bum out. And then come back up to that top level. So now we're a little bit more parallel to the floor again. Take your right leg behind the left and on a diagonal. So right, you're coming behind the body. And then I want you to gently, without tipping your chair, kind of pull on that diagonal. So I'm pulling with my right palm to my right hip, kind of to the left, to that left foot, that the right foot that's behind the left. And then release, come center, parallel, the feet are parallel for a moment. Again, stretch, just bend the knees and lower down, sink that head down. And then take your left foot on a diagonal behind the right. So, and then gently push down with that left arm, bringing the left hip over to the right, stretching that whole left side. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> and come back to parallel, bend those knees, drop the hands to your shins and roll on up. Woo! How'd we do? Good stretch. Okay, grabbing a single weight again. Coming into a little bit of um, balance. Okay, so I'll start with this. So I've got the weight in my left hand and we're gonna just lift that right leg. So right, so you're just gonna do a simple march, right? Lift and lower, lift and lower lift and lower so adding a little bicep curl and again can you find how the ab helps lift that leg pull the stomach in to lift it stomach in to lift it lift excellent switch sides transfer the weight to the left arm right arm left leg comes up and we lift tall And always option to put a hand on that chair to steady yourself. Find a focal point ahead of you. Two more. Last one. And down. All right, I'm going to hold the weight in my one hand while we do this, just to give me a little bit of something extra. We're going to take a little diagonal side step again to kind of stretch through the inner thigh. So I'm going to step to the right front corner, stretching through here, right? Do the groin, right? And step back home, staying on this side. Press and reach. And come back home. So see if you can really like surf it out, like get wide, as wide as you can, and then pull the stomach in and lift yourself back up. Press. And lift. And lift. So on this last one, just stay here and hold. Again, just stretch all through the hips here for a moment. And get ready, take an inhale and exhale, step back home. All right, I'm gonna switch the weights, come to the other side, so make some space. Here we go to the other side, to that left, reach. And lift and come home. And step. And come home. This is three. And home. Last two. And home. Last one. And home. And now we're going to stay out and stretch. So reach out and just pause. And just try and open up your hips here. So you're almost like getting your hips to like kind of face forward, push, push up and away from you, going that direction. Take an inhale and exhale, come home. All right, setting the weight down, coming into a little bit more straight standing leg work. 
So have a hand on the chair here for some balance. So we're just gonna take some big circles, but in a nice slow, slower motion. So take your right foot out to the front, lift and tap it to the side, tap it behind you on a bit of a diagonal, tap it back to the side and to the front, right? To the side and back, to the side and front. And then we can get a little bit bigger. Can we lift it a little higher as we move to each spot? Lift, 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 lift. Good, two more sets, lift, lift, lift. Lift, last time, side, back, side, front, and down. All right, other side. Hand on that chair, taking that left foot out. First, we start small, lift to the side, and back, side, and front, and side and back so i'm using my glutes and front now a little bit bigger up and up and lift and lift lift and back and up and up and to the side pull the stomach in and tighten your seat as you help lift that leg i think this is our last set and back and up, back, and nice. Okay, coming into a calf stretch now. So having the chair to the side, I'm gonna take my inside leg onto the chair so it's closest to the back. So you can have a hand on the back here to help us. And then we're starting with some calf stretches today. So I want this back foot parallel as much as you can. And I want us to lunge, but I want us to focus more on our calf. So I only, I don't need us to lunge so far into the hip yet. I want us to kind of stay halfway and you push that heel back and feel a bit of a calf stretch as if you're sending the heel down into the floor. And just find that stretch for a moment. And then we're gonna bend just that back knee, again, sending the heel back, getting more of that Achilles stretch. Good, and then push the heel back onto the floor. Woo. And then releve with the back heel up and down, up and down. Use your butt to help lift the leg. So don't just use the ankle because I know that's very easy to do. We could just let all the muscles go and then use the ankle, but try and use your glutes. Glute, glute, glute. And down. Now take it into a deeper lunge, finding your hip stretch. And take that outside arm up to the ceiling and side bend, getting a deeper lunge, deeper hip stretch. Good. Lift back up to your center. Try and let go both hands up to the ceiling and just hold a balance here. Again, we're just doing nice ankle work here. Bring the hands down, hand to the chair. Hinge back so the leg that's on the chair is gonna straighten and you're gonna flex the foot. So I want the toes to come towards you and then hinge at the hip, get that nice flat back again and find your stretch here. Nice work, and then come upright, bend that knee, slide that foot down, and switch sides. So starting with that calf stretch first, inside leg comes onto the chair, back leg is parallel, and right, you're going to come into a small lunge, and you're just really sending that back heel through the floor. So I'm like really turning this leg on, pushing that heel into the floor. 
and then bend the back leg. And then push the heel back down further away from you. And then here we go for 10 releves. Tighten your seat, lift and lower that back heel. One and two and three and four and five. My whole leg is engaged. And six and seven and eight, nine. Last one, 10, and now come into a deeper lunge. Woo. Bringing that outside arm up. Side bend to the back of the chair, opening up this hip even more through the front of the ribs. Come upright and balance on this side. Both arms lift, push those feet into their surface. Good, lower the arms. As we hinge back, we straighten the leg that's on the chair. Hinge, woo, and bring those toes towards you. Good, and come up, slide that leg down and come and have a seat. Coming into some knee circles. Bye, Jody. Holding that right knee up. We're just gonna circle the hip. Circle, 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 circle. And reverse the circle. Lift, lift. Good. All right, now coming into your four stretch, can we first just turn and hold the leg a little bit? I know this takes a little bit, yes. There we go. And then set it down, ankle onto that opposite knee, and then gently open, press the knee towards the floor, sit up tall to do this. Good, hinge and find your stretch here. Good, come up a little bit. And then I want us to twist with this. So I kind of want us to just kind of tip to one side, lifting the hip and then go the other way, tip it down. So tip it up and tip it down. Tip it up and down and up. And down, nice. And set the leg down and shake it out. All right, other leg, knee circle, hold the leg up. How did I do this? And circle, come to the inside, one. And two, three, four, five, and six, and reverse. One, two, five. And six, good turn and just hold the leg up in but pre four stretch. Yep, good. Nice, and set the ankle down and then push that hip open and hinge. Good, and then same thing, we're just gonna rotate in this figure four, lift the hip and send it down. So we're just kind of rocking, lifting the hip and send it down and lift and twist and down and lift and twist. And set it down. Good, come and take one more forward fold here. So just hinge and then release, let the shoulders, and the arms just kind of float down to the floor. Taking some deep breaths here. Inhaling still through the nose. Exhaling. 
Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Roll on up. All right, a new forearm stretch. Let's see if we have enough. These chairs are too narrow to do this. Um, we're going to get there. I think we can get there. Whew. Okay, I did this yesterday. You're going to turn your fingers to face away from you, right? Push the palms into the chair, straighten the arms, and feel the stretch through those wrists, right? And then you're going to lean back. Hopefully, really stretching that inside of that wrist. Good. And release. Woo. Shake out the wrist. Nice work. Okay, now we're going to try a new exercise that kind of deals with kind of working with the eyes and how the eyes help the head and the body twist. So sitting nice and tall, I want us just to twist to our right and look and see where what we see when we twist. You don't have to go far, just go where you naturally go. So I can see the corner of my room here, back here. And then come center. Now take your left thumb, hold it out in front of you and look at it. So right the opposite side, keep the thumb there, Turn your head to the left and then back to your thumb. To the left and back to your thumb. Left, thumb, one more. Good, put the thumb down, turn to the right again and see if you can get further than where you started. And come back center. Were we able to get a little further? Nice, all right, let's do the other side. So just turn left and see where you land, see where your gaze lands. All right, now come center. All right, right thumb up and out. Look at your thumb. Look to the right. To the thumb. To the right. Thumb. Thumb. Right. Look center. Lower the arm down and turn a little further. And come back center. Nice, so just by getting our eyes to stretch a certain way, we're able to turn the other way a little bit deeper. All right, take some final rests. Inhale those arms up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Exhale down. Thank you very much.